Hello and welcome to Money Tips. This is Charles Kelly bringing you money tips to help you save, earn, invest, accumulate and ultimately enjoy more money. Today I want to talk to you about loyalty. Now loyalty is always a good thing, isn't it? We, we, we're taught to be loyal and, and in business loyalty usually pays. If you're loyal to your, your company, your, your partners, your spouse or whatever, it, it's always a good thing to have. But it doesn't always seem to pay when it comes to our utility providers, uh, the people who supply us with things like your phones and your electricity and gas. Um, now, un unfortunately, it should, I mean, there should be loyalty bonuses for staying with the same provider, but it doesn't always seem to work out that way. So I want to show you how today a few phone calls, maybe one or two, maybe even just one, could save you hundreds, if not thousands of pounds. Now, after your mortgage and rent payment, your, your utilities are probably your biggest expense. Now, I'm talking about um, you know, gas, electricity, uh, your, your phone, your landline if you've got one, your mobile, your broadband, uh, and, and, and also things like your insurance, which are not strictly utilities, but I'll, I'll include them in, in things like that. Uh, your, your household insurance, car insurance, your breakdown recovery, all these things are Commodities, if you like, they're, they're, they're pretty much the same thing, but if you can get them cheaper, it, it's, it's money straight off the bottom line. Now, when it comes to the companies that supply our gas, electricity, mobile phones, broadband, it just doesn't pay to stay loyal to them. And the same implies to, to, it applies to car insurance. I know you, you have uh, uh, no claims bonuses, but your car insurance will tend to go up, up and up each year. Now, I don't understand this because they say it costs many more th many many times more to win a new customer than it does to retain and sell to existing customers and that that's a known fact and if that's the case then why is it that companies take their existing customers for granted and continue to to charge them or even the government are looking into this the consumers side of things are looking into these to these things with, with some of the utility providers that we're blatantly been charged more as an existing customer than we then the new customers have been charged. And these are not just like new offers and that sort of thing. These are genuine people on different tariffs if you're new. Um, so I don't understand why they do that. Uh, it doesn't make business sense. Um, you know, we hear things about loyalty bonuses, but there isn't really any loyalty bonuses as such. And uh, you also see this with mortgage providers, uh, banks who leave you in, um, in one account and they, they, they drop the interest rate on that account and, and, and introduce new ISAs and new, new accounts with, with higher rates. Um, so this is, this is the time to sort of review that. Now, I, I have changed my utility providers a lot and I've, I've saved hundreds and, and even thousands of pounds, certainly on, on mortgage providers. Um, just like gas electricity, it's, it's a no brainer. Why? It's the same gas and electricity coming through the pipe to your house. So why pay more for it than, than you need to. Sometimes it can mean just making a call to your existing provider. Sometimes it means switching by going onto one of these comparison sites. Now, I've got, I've got another little problem here. While, while review, looking at this, I thought, ah, oh, what about Virgin, Virgin, yeah? Virgin Media, if you can see that. Um, Virgin Media, I've got uh, uh, broadband, which started off at something like 20 something pounds per month. It's, it's, in, a, it's in a rental property where I provide the broadband for people and the internet, um, and it's gradually sort of crept up and crept up. And now, if you can see that, it's now 40 pounds per month. This is the, the old Virgin, Richard Branson, yeah? Um, and, okay, I've sort of worn it up to now because it's, it's a couple of more pounds a, a year, and you think, oh, I can't be bothered to change it. But, you know, now it's, it's more, more like at least 10 to 12, maybe 15 pounds a month more than I need to pay. So it's getting into the sort of, almost like a couple of hundred pounds a year scenario for, for, for what? For nothing, that's coming straight out of my pocket, straight off the, the, the bottom line. So, you know what, one of the reasons I haven't changed this is because I can never get through to them. I'm gonna have a little rant about Virgin now, but you know, if you try and get through to them to, to, to talk about your account or, or say that, you know, you've got a problem, you know, you just go from around this automated service, press one for this, press two for that, hang on a minute, press two for that, and then, and literally at the other end, you, you're out. They say, well, we've tested your broad and it's fine, goodbye, and that's it. And you, you've been on the phone for all this time. I had a problem with the router and the tenant was complaining that um, it, it wasn't working properly. He used to do gaming and he was sitting there, he had the whole kit in his room and he had 
you know, driving sticks and pedals. And uh, he was he was a bit of a an IT geek himself. And he said, look, I know that the router is, is faulty. They, they get overheated and after a couple of years, they just need changing. It doesn't cost the company any money to send you one. I tell you what, the trouble I had getting through, because I would call them, spend hours on the phone and they would test it automatically and say, yeah, your system's fine. In the end, the only way I, I got them to change it was by going onto Twitter. And you know, when I got onto Twitter, then suddenly they answered immediately. So I wish they had as many people in customer service as they do monitoring the Twitter account, because you seem to get more response from, from Twitter than you do trying to ring them. And that's the only reason why I haven't got onto them and say, look, I want my bill reduced or I'm moving. Um, but I, I think Virgin can do better than that. So come on, Richard Branson, you can do better than this. Uh, you try ringing them and see if you get through. I, I tell you, it's not, it's not much fun. So th that's something that I've got to do um, my, myself. But definitely things like um, electricity, you can be on what's called a kind of a standard tariff without even knowing it. Um, maybe a discount deal you had come to an end, like, like mortgages, in fact. You know, you had a, you've been on some blue tariff or whatever they call it, and when it comes to an end, you, you then go on to a standard tariff and you don't know it, and they leave you there, of course. They're not gonna phone you up and say, oh, we can do one cheaper for you. So your bills go up, and unless you're monitoring those things, you know, you, you can easily end up just paying a lot more for the same service. Now, if you make a phone call, yeah, you might have to hang on for a little while, um, but I think it could be worth it for you. And then you can say, look, what tariff can you do for me? Okay, you might have to sign up for a year or two years with them, but but so what? You know, if they're immediately offering you a saving of say fifty pounds, sixty pounds, hundred pounds, you know, that that's money in your pocket. And sometimes it can be even more. I, I recently had an issue with um, my breakdown cover RAC. I, I was hearing these ads and seeing these ads and how, how you could get breakdown cover for you know twenty five pounds a month, and I was paying a lot more than that. So I called them. I said, "What's going on?" Anyway, they said they apologised. They said, well, "I've been with you years. I've hardly had a claim." Anyway, they apologised and reduced my my uh, monthly cost down. So you don't always need to change companies. With gas and electricity, it's very easy. It's the same gas and electricity coming through. I, I don't understand it really, but you know, by by just changing from one company to another, and you don't have to ring every company. Sometimes you can do it on comparison sites. There are loads of them around. Uh, Money supermarket. Uh, that Martin Lewis guy. That guy who sings a song. That opera singer that gets my nerves. Uh, there's loads of them out there. If you just Google it, um, there's plenty out there. So I would say definitely today, make a target to, to, to review two or three of your utility providers and see how much you can save in a day. See how much you can save. It could be £100, £200. Remember that if you do that every year, that's £1,000 over, over sort of five years. So it's a lot of money. So look, look at the ones you could save on. Gas, electricity, um, mobile phone stroke landline stroke broadband um, as I said Virgin now are offering broadband and a phone for 27 pounds a month I'm paying 40 so that, that that's that, that's what what's happening right now uh, home insurance is another one it could be buildings and contents um, it doesn't make sense to pay more unless you've got you know inferior cover for the same for, for a new price make sure your cover with insurance is is the same or comparable you know you don't want to go and switch to a to a policy that perhaps doesn't give you enough cover or there's so many restrictions. Same thing with cars, but generally you can get, you know, similar sort of cover. Um, home insurance, car insurance, breakdown cover. Now you can't change everything. I think water companies, there's usually only one water company for the area. Council tax, you can't ring up your council and say, oh, you know, I want to pay less council tax, um, you know, or I'm switching. No, you, you can switch by moving to, some, to a cheaper area maybe, but you can get discounts on your council tax if you're a single occupant uh, and there are other discounts you might be able to get if you're on benefits for instance but um, generally speaking though I think those are the main ones I may, I may, may have missed out one or two um, obviously you know th there's different packages within within broadband and phones now they, they tend to offer you different packages like TV packages as well so I, I'm sure just by looking at this and review is one of the three R's of money management that's in my forthcoming book, Yes, Money Can Buy You Happiness. Uh, I've got three pillars of, of money management. Review is one of them because you've got to keep reviewing things. You know, I've been through reviewing your mortgage uh, contract and your deals with, with mortgage companies, like if you're on a fixed or discount rate and you want to switch. I've been through all that. Um, so uh, reviewing is, is very important. Review 
your utility providers, review your mortgage, review your bank statement, review your credit card statement to see what you're spending your money on. Uh, this, this is vital. You can't just make one foul swoop, make a couple of phone calls. Yeah, you save a couple of hundred pounds and just leave it because next year your, your bills will probably go up. Because companies are, are clever. They, they'll give you an introductory offer and maybe in a year or two's time when you've forgotten all about it, they start creeping up the, the, the fees. I know they're all going to make a profit, but not from me. <laughs> um, no, seriously, just just do your do your review, do your homework, make a few phone calls, go on to Google, go on to comparison sites, and see how much money you can save. Thank you very much for listening. This is Charles Kelly bringing you money tips to help you save, earn, invest, accumulate, and ultimately enjoy more money. So get saving.